Here we are guys, outside of the train station in Halguin, Cuba. Little information booth at the bottom. And a platform up there. This is the station. I don't know if you need a ticket or anything to get in. I'm gonna find out right now. But, very nice station. Sort of colonial design. See, it looked like a freight train going up there. I saw one engine and one car. Got a pack station, so I think they're expecting a train to show up at any minute. Just see if we're allowed in here or if we need a ticket. Oh. Like an open air station, and we got a guard here, this lady in white, and this guy here, and I guess they open up the gate when it's time for boarding. There it comes, guys. Train coming into Holguin, Cuba. It's like an old diesel. That is amazing. Looks like they got the freight cars in front. Passenger cars in back. A little mix of everything. And I don't see any conductors yet. Looks like the doors just open by themselves. People got a lot of luggage, bikes. And they're doing it very orderly fashion. So they're not going to open these doors to let the people out until all the people have completely gotten off the train. And see if they have a conductor who is... I don't know if they actually have a conductor or if they just have the guys at the station who close it up. More like a how American, like subway style, maybe. Uh, we'll have to see though. So, looks like a couple of people, the last couple of people getting off. Now, I don't know if they're gonna change ends here, if there's um, a diesel on the other end too, and go backwards, or if they're gonna keep on going in the same direction find out. So this guy was checking something in the bottom, maybe checking the air, making sure there's no leaks. And now he's going to open the gate. He's probably, maybe he's got everybody's name in there. We'll have to see. Just unhitch this diesel from the train. It looks like they might be going around to put it on the other direction. Oops. And we got the engine coming around on the other direction. I see the cleaners going through there, sweeping it out. And they're gonna hitch it on the other side. There he goes, easy as that. The international language of railroading. Pretty much the same thing wherever you go. On there, sweeping it out, doing a great job. Look up there, looks like they're getting ready to make the hitch. And we'll probably see a little bump along the train when they actually do tie in. Or maybe they're just that smooth, that precise. Oh, thought I heard something, maybe not though. And they're still on there, mopping it. And I think um, somebody was saying the newer cars are Chinese. I'm not sure which country these were actually manufactured in. And it looks like um, a few different styles. Like this looks, looks... Oh yeah, it looks like they did tie in. Now they're, they're connecting the air. And usually what they do is do a brake test to make sure the air is actually going through from the engine all the way to the tail end. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that or not. Usually they have somebody back there checking it. Yep, there it is. So they made the hitch. I'm trying to see if I can see the pistons on here. Oh, so they're backing it up. Maybe they only use, since everybody, it seems like everybody got off that last stop, maybe they're gonna 
just use, start off with a couple of cars in the front and kind of work their way back. And there are more stops. Ferrocilius de Cuba. Look at those, that is, and I see ships painted on the side. Usually that could mean that it's like intermodal. They can put them on a ship right to the railroad and then right to the truck, usually. Oh yeah. That is a beast. I'm not good with ages or anything, but that could be a good, in the 60s maybe, 50s. And they're backing that way up, so I guess they're not going to let the people get on yet, or maybe they have to refuel or something like that. Here they are, Hagen Cuba. Pulling it up to let passengers on, it looks like, so they got to get all the cars on the platform. They did their inspection, the security guards walked through, checked the entire thing, they had cleaners go on there. Um, change engines, change engines on the on the train. So I guess this is the end of the line for this particular train. Looks like we got one, two, three, three cars. Oh, they took a car off. That's what they did. They took a couple cars off. And I guess they got a yard back there. So I'm down there lining the tracks. Now they're gonna come back in the other direction. Now what's he gonna do here? Looks like he's throwing the iron again because there's another track over there. Amazing how quick they can do this. So they're bringing the engine back. I don't know if they're gonna bring another engine to uh, tow these cars. They got some new cars over there. They changed the rolling stock. It looks like they got some sort of a yard back there. Maybe they're doing maintenance work on some of them and bringing out fresh equipment. So they just stopped here. I'm not sure what they're doing. I think they got more tracks up there. Maybe they gotta switch the iron again to go in another direction. Oh, I think I just saw them take the air out, so maybe that blue one, they're gonna leave that there. I don't know. My guess is they're gonna just back up now. Maybe that car with the kind of like the rounded top, maybe that's like first class or business class, and this is like coach back here. So basically they just reversed everything. Maybe that blue one, kind of like the it looks like a box car. Maybe that's like the the cheapest seats. Yep. So they just, they're throwing the iron again, and they're going to bring it back and tie it right onto this this uh, blue and yellow one, eighty one ninety five. This guy's right in position. He's see if he gives like hand motions to the engineer. Oh, he's got a radio. So see if they do it the same way. Like one car length, half a car, twenty feet, ten feet on the pin. Uh, or maybe there's somebody. So he's probably going to come to the end, or maybe this guy here is going to do it. And then he's going to put the air pipe in, or the brake pipe. Now they just grabbed another car, tied onto the front of this, and now they're going to back this up to this one here, 8195. And then it looks like the consist is complete and ready to, to take passengers and head out. So they did all this probably in a span of... 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Working like clockwork. Now, there he is with the hand motions, telling the engineer to take it back. And there he is like 20 feet, 10 feet. See if they have to do a safety stop here. Oh, yeah, look at this, beautiful. Very nice. And then stretch it out. And now hook up the air. There he is in there. Got to connect the brake, brake pipe from one end to the other. I got it. See what he's doing there. Not yet. Oh. 
Okay, there it is. And now he's going to connect the air, I think. And we'll be able to hear it. Yep. Yep. And you can hear that air now from the engine going all the way through to the end of the train. And it looks like now they should be ready to accept passengers. There we go, guys. Here's Mad Stampede to get on the train. Another thing that's... Uh... What? Let's see, I'm trying to tell... They do all have assigned seats. Everybody has an individual ticket. Sorry, bro. And making the announcements now. Doesn't look like they're checking the tickets at the door. Looks like you can just get on. And that's it. Now that the train's ready for boarding, you let me go out here. Actually not taking that long. Veracilius. Cuba. Let's see if I can actually just get a little shot of what it's. It's just like benches, kind of. Not bad. It's all you need. And then I think, like I said before, that rounded car is maybe like first class or business class. And it couldn't. There was a little bit of a language barrier, but. He did say it's going to be a long train ride, so I'm guessing hours. Everybody's got quite a bit of luggage. These seats... Yeah, it's... Looks like... Oh, maybe this car is... Yeah, this looks a little bit better. The seats are padded. So this is... Kick it up a notch here. Then we got the engine up there. I mean, there are worse places to be for a long train ride. We can go in? How long we got? A minute? Or? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go in. They get a bathroom at one end. Uh, conductor, auxiliary conductor, oh, maybe it says the conductor sits here. Hi, Mandarina. Oh, hard. Hold on. <laughs> and this is the bathroom, the ladies' room. Going in between the cars. Yeah. Same thing, bathroom at the other end. Car number. Bathroom there. Okay. And this is, looks like another class with wooden benches, probably like the, the cheap seats back here. Pretty nice too, though. I wonder if every conductor, or every car has a conductor. 